Hey hi everyone, welcome to the another video of Postman City. So today in this video, we are going to see how to run our collections. So in our one of the previous video, we have seen how to run our collections manually and via the building the request workflow object. Right? So we were jumping from request 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 4, 1, 5. Right? So we are, we are just uh, building our request workflow as per our use case. Right? So now the running the collection, it has a lot of options that you can use for to run your collection. Okay. So the very first one, so if you go to this collections and if you go on a run collection tab here, okay, run collection. So here you can see run manually. Okay, so for this using option, so run this collection in the collection runner. It means the collection will the collection will run in the collection runner window of the postman. Okay. And if this is called manual run. So we are clicking on this option and we are going for the run option. So where the collection will run as per the order, as per the as per the workflow that we have defined. Okay. So here I have defined the workflow to request 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 5, 5, 2, 4. Okay. So this is for manual run. Okay. This is how you have to run. So you have to always come to the postman and you have to run it from like this. This is called manual run. So there is something called scheduled run. Okay. So when you go for the scheduled run, so now we have to do the configuration for the schedule. So for example, we have to give the name. Okay. Now we are going to see about the second one, scheduled run. So the manual run already I have covered in my previous video. You can check on that. So scheduled run, what is scheduled run? So wow. What you can do now, you can do the configuration for your scheduled run. Okay, so now it, it is going to run on the particular specific time for the day or, or weekly or daily or every one hour. You can, you can customize yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to give some scheduled name. For example, this is workflows. Okay, and what is the run frequency that you want to select? For example, if you click on this one, so many timer is applicable only for the, the professional version of I mean, version of the postman, which is a paid one. Okay, since we are using the free one, we can go for a hourly or we can go for a weekly timer also. So every day or Monday to Friday on this particular time. Okay, let me go for a hourly time. So here you can go for every one hour, two hours, six hours, four hours, everything. Okay, so I have selected as a every one hour. And if you want to any dependency on the environment file also, you can select one. Okay, for this collection, I don't have any environment, but if you have any environment dependency, then you can select this option, okay? And the maximum iteration. So why this is important, isn't? so when you go for a manual run, so here we have this option, right? So when I click on this manual run, so here you can see, I can go for a multiple iterations. So, so the same option is available here as well. Okay, so let me here that is a workflow. So here also you can go for a maximum 50 iteration. You cannot go for a more than 50, okay? And if at all, if you want to upload any data file, like uh, any, any CSV file or JSON file externally you want to upload, that is also possible, okay? So after that, so this is going to run on the scheduler, right? So we never know. I mean, this will automatically run and it is, it is going to run on the Postman cloud server, okay? It is not going to run on, even though if you close your laptop or your Postman is not open, it will run, okay? So it is running on the Postman cloud. So now, we want to get to know about the results. If there are any failures or anything, we want to know about them, right? So for that, what we can do now, we can, we can add our notification, uh, the email address, okay? So when you add the recipients, you can add up to five members. So if there are any failures, you will get notified through the email. Okay, so here you can see, out of test failures or any errors in the run, so you will be getting the email. So this option for to stop the email trigger after three consecutive failures. Okay, this API is keep on failing more than three times. We don't want to get the email because somebody has to look at that failures. Okay, in the advanced setting, you can go for a retry run failure. So for example, you do some network issue or it can be server issue. So if you, if you just want to go for a second time retry also, okay, that is also possible. Okay, set timeout in the sense. So you would, but I mean, your response should not exceed more than um, uh, this timeout, right? So due to any any reason, if the server is not reachable for more than this kind of like a timeout, you can't set. Okay, and delay between the sense. So you can, for example, after request one, and before even request one started, I want to give some time. Okay, for every request, you can give some. But for example, after you create the record, you want to at least wait for a ten second to record get updated in the database. 
or server. So in that case, you can go for the delay between the things. So then you can just go for a schedule run. Okay. Now the schedule run is done. So now you can go here for the schedule run tab here under this. So now you can see upcoming run on the 9 a.m. Okay. So which will run on the 24 of 9 a.m. So that is what we have defined. So every day 9 a.m. So if you want to edit, so we can just go for edit. And here, so let me change it to hourly. So every one hour, so I'm going to save the changes. So now it will, you can see schedule is updated. So now what happens now, it will run on my next one hour. So which means uh, uh, now my, my time is nine. Okay. So it will run on 10 a.m. So after 10, it will, I mean, immediately it will update as 11 a.m. Okay. So manually also you can run it. So for example, if you just go to uh, view. So if you want to run this, you can simply click on the run button. So which will, this is a manual run. Okay, after this, you can see there are no failures. So that's the reason it is coming as a help. So now I click on this and you can see the respective results also. Okay, so now let's go on make some changes here. I want to uh, fail one, one test case intentionally to get the email is triggering or not. Okay, so here, I'm going to add one test case for the status board validation, okay? Okay, so here the status code I have defined as a 200, but obviously this is a post method, it will come as a 201. Okay, so let me save this. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run again this. Okay, you can see one more entry is created and it is coming as an unhealthy here. You can see it is coming as unhealthy, which is in the red color and there are some failures. Okay, now I have to go to my email to check. I have received the email from the postman team stating that there are some failures in the schedule run order. Okay, so let me open the email. Yeah, so this is the email which I got now. Okay, just zero minutes ago, 9 to a.m. It is my local time. And you can see there are, we have some problem. So the, the run schedule name is workflow. And these are the failures. Okay, this is a workspace. And you can see the failure details. Okay, there are some test cases failed. So that's the reason I got the email. Okay, so now this is how this collection runner will work. Okay, even though if a laptop is closed or if you not open the postman, it, it is going to run on the postman cloud. Okay, so this is one option. So now if you want to, I mean, if you feel like I don't want to run further this, so what we can do now, we can just, I mean, uh, go and stop this one. You can go for a pass and you can go for a delete. So this is called schedule your run. Okay, we are scheduling the collection to execute on the particular specific time or specific, I mean, the specific interval of the time. Okay, so here also, uh, I mean, uh, after this, yeah, this is fine. So now if you want to look at the run history, so for example, you can go to the run tab here. And here you can see here everything. So this is used by runner and everything. Okay, and here you can go, go and check your scheduled runs. Okay, so now, let me, there are some failures, so that's the reason it's coming as unhealthy. Okay, you can delete and you can pass if you don't want to run. Okay, so now we can pass this one. Okay, which means this will not run. Okay, you can see upcoming run is blank now. Okay, so this is one way. So we have seen manually how to run our collection and we can go for a schedule run also. In the schedule run, you can use your environment JSON and you can use the data file also. And you can get email the notify when the collections has some failures or some errors. Okay, the third one is, third one is a monitor. So before we come to monitor, we'll go for one more option that is available here, which is automate via CLI. Okay, so here also you can see Postman CLI, right? This is what we are going to see now. So this automate runs via CLI. So Postman has recently introduced the, this some, I mean, CLI option also. So for that, what you have to know, first you have to download the CLI. Okay, just click on this download CLI button. So that will redirect to you this particular page. Okay, so this is a page. So here you can see the Windows installation and everything. Install the Postman CLI. Okay, these are the system requirements you have to make sure. So mine is Windows. So what you have to do now, you have to copy this command and you have to install in the your terminal. Okay, once you install this one, 
So after that, you can go to the CMB. Okay, in the terminal, what you can do now, you can do the Postman version. Okay, so now I have installed the Postman 1.0.1, which is a CLI version. Okay, so there are the options you can see. If you go to the Postman CLI option, here you can see to check the Postman version. Okay, so after this, what we have to do, we have to run this collection. Okay, to run your collection, you need an API key for your account. Okay, since we are running the collection from the our runner collection and our schedule runner, this is going to take from our Postman. Okay, this is CLI where you can run from any terminal. Okay, in your computer or from another computer also, I think it is possible. Okay, to run this collection, what you can do, you have to provide the key, API key for your account. So if you want to generate the key, just click on this R key. And if you have the key, you can go for, I mean, if you already have the key, you can go for use existing key. Otherwise, you have to go for a generate key. Okay, so either of the button, I'm going to click on the existing key. So it is asking the key for me. So what I can do, I can go for a generate key. Okay, it is asking for the name. So here also you can generate, so for example, key. And when I click on generate, okay, the key is generated. Okay, now I'm simply going to insert this key. Okay, now the key is inserted. So now what I can do now, I can copy this command line and I can go to any terminal, just paste this value. Okay, this is for first you have to do the login with this API key. Okay, after that you can see API logger is successful. So this is my username of Postman, here you can see this is my username. Okay, and here you can see it is about to run the collection. So Postman collection run, this is a collection ID and the environment file also it is going. Okay. So when I click on enter, the collection has to start. Let's see. Yeah, you can see the collection is running fine. Okay. So if you don't want to do this, so what we can do now, again, there is another option where you can use that. So if you just go to this uh, here, so Postman collection, you can run your JSON file also. Okay. Or you can run your using the ID. So ID is nothing already we have seen, right? So if you want to take this collection ID, so what you have to do, just click on this. Just go to the information tab here, okay, which is the ID tab. So from here, you can take your ID. Okay, this is my ID. Okay, I'm just copying this ID. So make sure you are ignoring the first eight digit of number here. Okay, so after this, here are postman run, just paste the type. Okay, so this one also should run. Okay, postman collection run. Let's see. Yeah, postman collection. Postman collection run then I. Okay, you can see the workflow started. So the workflow is a collection name, it is started. Okay, so like this also you can run. So now we have generated the ID from here, right? Directly. So if at all, if you want to generate the ID, you can go to your settings of your account. So here. In your settings tab, you will have some option called generate key. Okay, your API key for your particular account. So this with this account key, it is very, uh, I mean, case, I mean, information. It is very sensitive data because nobody wants to use your account. Okay, so if you go to this API key, so here you can see I have two keys, right? So I can delete them and I can regenerate them. Okay, for the security purpose, I'm going to delete everything. Okay, I have deleted. So now if I if I come here, if I do this run the command again, it will throw the error because I have deleted the key. Correct? It, it should not. Yeah. You can see invalid API key. Okay. So this is how we will run using the automated run via CLI. Okay. There is one more option that we can go for a new man. Okay. So new man we will cover in the next topic. There are something I have to explain the monitors. So monitor also we can run. Okay, the collections, whatever the collection that we have seen, right? So that collection you can run through the your monitors also. So monitor also it is similar to scheduled run. Okay. So there are some uh, I mean difference, like for example, in the collections, you don't have any limitations, but when it is come to monitor, you have some limitations. Okay. Limitations is in, you cannot go beyond some limit. Okay. So if you go to this, uh, so we are using a postman free version. Right. So if you go and see here, the phone, the, the monitor usage is only thousand per month. Okay, you cannot go beyond this. 
Okay, the monitor, how do we create the monitors? I think uh, we will cover another topic. So I will keep this monitor away. Okay, so we have seen only these four, three types. So which is uh, Neumann run manually, and we have seen the scheduled run also. Okay, so scheduled run and postman's yellow. So the monitors and Neumann, we'll see in the next video. Because uh, monitor also, it is going to be a similar type of scheduled run. Okay. So what we have seen today in the sense, we have seen the run manually, run scheduled run. So postman automate via CLI. Okay. The CLI, you can directly run from here also, or you can copy paste the command all. Like this also, you can run. Okay. Either you can pass the collection ID or either you can use the JSON file location also. Okay. So these are the types of uh, way you can execute your collection. Manual, scheduled run, and postman CLI. Okay, these are the three ways. And we can see the monitors and new one in the, our next topic. Okay, that's all about video. Uh, if you have any doubts or queries, uh, please uh, feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you, guys.